Optifine 1.19.4 is already out. And as you can see, I'm running it right now and I'm using shaders already in Minecraft 1.19.4. So if you're trying to download and install Optifine, the easiest way possible for Minecraft 1.19.4, let's get started with the tutorial. And the first step to install Optifine is actually to click the second link in the description, which will bring you to a written guide on how to download and install Optifine. Obviously, feel free to look through the screenshots to look at the guides in here and read through it. And that might help you, but I'm assuming most of you want to follow along the video. So once you're over here, just click where it says download Optifine here, and that is going to redirect you to Optifine official website. Now, maybe if you're watching this in the future, when you come over here, all you see is Minecraft 1.19.4 and a download button. And if that's the case for you, just go ahead and click on that download button. Like for example, take Minecraft 1.19.2, it already has a download button. But as you can see as of now, it just says preview version, and that is what we're going to download right now. So just go ahead and click where it says preview version and download the most recent one. In this case, it's pre number three, and that's the one we're going to download as of now. So just go ahead and click on preview version for Minecraft 1.19.4 and click download. Now, once you click on that, that is going to redirect you to this little website where in five seconds on the top right, a button label as a skip will appear and just wait for that to appear right there and go ahead and click on that. Make sure you don't click anything else. You just want to click the skip button and that is going to redirect you to here where you're finally going to be able to download Optifine. So click on download. That is going to automatically start the download for you. As you see, in my case, it's asking me where I want to save the file. I for you, it's just going to download. If you're using the newer version of Chrome, you can find your downloaded file on the top right after clicking this little arrow. If you have the older version of Chrome, it will be here on the bottom left. Whatever the case might be, just go ahead and get that file and put it into your desktop. Now we have the preview Optifine 1.19.4 there. We're kind of ready to install Optifine. But since we want to test out if Optifine is working, I'm also going to download some shaders to actually test out Optifine. So if you want to use the same shaders I'm about to use to test Optifine, go ahead and click on the third link in the description, which is our guide on how to download and install BSL shaders. I mean, feel free to use any shaders that you want to test out Optifine. But in this case, we're going to use BSL. So you just go ahead and click on BSL shaders, download, go to files in here. Just click on the little file button right there. And then once you're in files, go ahead and download the most recent version. In this case, it's BSL 1.19.3. But don't worry because those are compatible with Optifine 1.19.4. So I'm going to go ahead and download those files. If you're following along, just click on download. And then it's going to take five seconds and the download will start automatically. And like I said, this is not a required step. You could actually skip this part. But I actually want to test out if Optifine is going to work with shaders. So once you have the BSL files right there, you could go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. Now it's time to install Optifine. And before you install Optifine 1.19.4, you have to make sure that you have run Minecraft, actually Minecraft just vanilla 1.19.4, at least once on your computer. So for that, just launch your Minecraft launcher, obviously, and then launch your game. All you have to do is click on Minecraft as it is just vanilla 1.19.4, you know, latest release, as you can see right here. Just click on play. And once you click on play, let the game open and then you can close it. This is a required step before installing any mods, not just Optifine, any mods for Minecraft 1.19.4. As you can see, the game has opened and now you could click on quit game. And now you're kind of ready to install Optifine 1.19.4. So in order to install Optifine, you could right click, click open with, and then you could click Java, or you could simply double click on Optifine. Now, as you can see, Optifine opened right away and it didn't give me any issue. And hopefully that is the case for most of you when installing Optifine. When you double click on it, it just opens the installer. If it didn't work for you, right? If you double click on Optifine and for whatever reason, it didn't open the installer, that might be because you have an outdated version of Java. Keep in mind that any Minecraft above 1.16.4 will require you to have Java 17 on your computer. Java 17 is a software that allows you to run Minecraft as itself. I'm not talking about Java as a Minecraft version. I'm talking about Java as a software that allows you to play Minecraft Java. If that sounded too confusing, don't worry, because I'm going to guide those of you that struggle with this step right here. Anyways, if you double click on Optifine and it opened the installer, well, that's great. Just click on install and that's it. You, you could install Optifine. Make sure that you close your game and then you close your launcher before doing this though. And there you go. Optifine is successfully installed. But if you're having issues to install Optifine, do not click out because I'm going to teach you how to do that after we test out Optifine, after we add the shaders. Stay, don't worry, because I'm going to teach you how to fix the issues that Optifine might give you when you try to install it. Anyways, let's assume that you install Optifine for now and you came over here to the Minecraft launcher 
In order to see Optifine, just click where it says latest release and you should see Optifine right there. If it didn't come up automatically, for most of you, it's probably going to select automatically already when you open the launcher. You might see Optifine 1.19.4 there by itself. Anyways, as you can see, we have Optifine 1.19.4. If it doesn't show in here though, for whatever reason, just go to installations and make sure that modded is selected. As you can see, if modded is not selected, if modded is not selected, you won't see the modded versions. If modded is selected, you could see Optifine in there. If that doesn't do it, just click on new installation and then look for Optifine in here. As you can see, it's right there, release 1.19.4. You could click on that, name it whatever you want, and then click create. And that is another way you could fix Optifine not showing up. Anyways, once we have Optifine working, just go ahead and click on play. Click that you understand the risk and click on play again and give it a little moment to load. So for those of you that didn't have Optifine working when you try to install it, all you have to do is update Java. Like I was saying, in order to update Java, just go to the third link in the description, actually the fourth link in the description, where I am leaving you guys a guide on how to download and update Java. This is a required step to install any mod in Minecraft. If you're trying to run a server to install Optifine or any other mod for any Minecraft above 1.16.4, you will need to update to Java 17. And there is the guide for that in there. I'm also going to leave you a guide on how to download and run a jar fix because after you install Java, you might need to run a jar fix to fix the jar files, like jar files like this one, like Optifine or any other mod that you can try to install. Anyways, going back to Minecraft in order to test out the shaders. So now we have Optifine open. How do we add the shaders? How do we test this out? Well, it's really simple. Just go ahead and click on single player and then just go ahead and launch your world and what the world is creating. Let me go ahead and talk to you about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you're looking for a Minecraft server, you have come to the right place because with Apex Hosting, you could create a server that is open 24 seven, either for Minecraft Java, Minecraft Bedrock, and obviously you could use Optifine with your server. You could use any mods and you don't have to worry about Java being updated or anything like that because Apex Hosting will take care of that for you. So if you wanna get 25% off, okay, that's, yeah, you heard that right. 25% off. Use the first link in the description to create your first server with Apex Hosting. That way you'll be supporting the channel and you will actually be having a really, really good server because I have my own Bedrock server with Apex Hosting. So first link in the description, 25% off, and let's go back to the tutorial. And as you can see, we're back in the world and let's go ahead and try and add the shaders to test if Optifine is working. Obviously, you don't need to add shaders to test Optifine. As you can see right here, this screen has completely changed. The video settings screen has changed. That is because Optifine is already working, but I do like to add shaders all the time. So the way to add shaders, just go over here to video settings, click on shaders, shaders folder. And in here, you might not see anything. I already have BSL in there, but you might not see anything. And the way you add the shaders, the file we downloaded earlier, just drag and drop it in there. You do not have to unzip it. You don't have to extract it. Just go ahead and add it there. Close this folder and you should see it in here. As you can see, BSL is already there. Go ahead and click on that. It should take a little bit to load. And then once it has loaded, you could go ahead and click on done. Just give it a second. It might take longer for some of you. Click on done, done, back to game. And there we go. We have shaders running in Minecraft 1.19.4 using Optifine, which is pretty, pretty useful, pretty, pretty cool. And if we press F5, as you can see, we have Optifine. If you press C, you could zoom in. And there you go. That is pretty much how to download and install Optifine, how to add shaders to it. I also taught you how to add shaders a little bit extra, I guess. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, bye bye.